Hi, boys and girls. My name is Miss Jennifer, and I'm a teaching artist in the Pace Art Program. I'm here today to do some fun art with you. I'm so glad that you could join me. Today, we will be doing a science-based art lesson. We will be learning about chameleons, what they eat, where they live, and so much more. We will also learn fun facts about chameleons. The supplies that you will need today will be two sheets of white paper, a variety of crayons, and a variety of markers. We'll be using lines, shapes, colors, and patterns for our lesson. We'll be using markers and crayons to color our picture. We will be drawing a picture of a chameleon on a branch with some leaves. So today, we're gonna to be talking about chameleons. Now, chameleons are a kind of lizard. And if you look here, I have several different kinds of chameleons. You will see that they are very colorful. There are over 180 different kinds of chameleons in the world. And chameleons like to live in the tropical rainforests, mountains, deserts, and lots of other places. Chameleons like to be high up in trees or very low to the ground in small trees that are called shrubs. Now, chameleons are amazing in so many different ways. One, chameleons can see very well. They actually can see better than humans. So they actually see better than we can see. Wow. And chameleons, eyes don't move at the same time. Instead, one moves this way and maybe one moves down that way. They can look in different directions with each eye. And so, um, as you can see, a chameleon has a very large eye. And right in the center of it, there's a little hole. And that is the place where the lens is at that helps them to be able to see. They can move the entire big part right here of their eye. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that when we're drawing today. Now, chameleons have super long tails and they use their tails to help them balance and hold on to trees. Not only that, chameleons have interesting feet. They have sometimes two, or three, four, or five toes, but in between their toes, they're webbed. So that means it has like a little extra part of skin and that's what helps them to be able to hold onto the branches very well as they're climbing in the trees. And sometimes when the wind blows, the chameleons actually will sway side to side following the wind. And so another thing is that a chameleon's tongue is two times longer than his body. Let's look at this chameleon. Look how long this chameleon is. Well, imagine one chameleon, and then if we put the other chameleon right next to it, his tongue will be that long. So a chameleon actually sits and will stick out that long tongue really fast, and it will grab what it wants to eat. Hmm, well, that brings me to a chameleon's tongue is very sticky, and so it doesn't have to bite at what it's trying to eat, it just sticks its tongue out, sticks to it, puts it back in its mouth. And the amazing thing is that a chameleon's tongue is like an accordion. It actually folds up and rolls back into the mouth. And that's how all of that tongue fits in their mouth. And so, as you can see here, chameleons are very colorful. And it is known that chameleons actually change color to camouflage with their environment. Hmm, now what does that mean? Well, that means that chameleons change colors to kind of hide. So for example, if this little guy was next to a leaf, maybe he would turn green and he would look like the leaf. Or maybe this guy could change colors and he could look like the bark on a tree. Well, I don't think that that is actually true. Instead, chameleons change color when humidity or light is present. So what that means is when it's really hot, 
and the chameleons are out in the sun, they will have brighter colors. If they're sort of cool, they'll have lighter colors. Now that doesn't mean that some chameleons don't blend into their environment, but the truth of it is, is that they actually respond to light more and heat than actually changing colors to match their environment. So the male chameleons, or what we call the boy chameleons, actually have more color on them. The females, or the girls, are not as bright and not as colorful. So chameleons eat insects like mealworms and waxworms, but sometimes they also eat berries, fruit, and other little pieces of leaves and things that they find on the ground. Now chameleons can live anywhere from two to 10 years. And chameleons don't have ears. What? They don't have ears? No, they actually don't hear. Instead, they feel the vibrations that are around them. And I thought that was pretty cool. And so saying that, I'm ready to go ahead and start talking about different kinds of chameleons. Here, this is a Jackson chameleon. Here is a mountain chameleon. Here is a panther chameleon. And here is a rainbow panther chameleon. And there are several other different kinds like a carpet chameleon. There is a mailer's chameleon, and there's also a feigned chameleon. And of course, there are a lot of other different kinds, but those are a few that I want to share with you. Now, I have this picture of a very large, this is a Parsons chameleon picture that I wanted to show you. I wanted you to be able to look up close. Look at that large eye. And remember how I told you there was a little circle inside and that's where the lens part that they see is at this entire eye all of this big circle actually moves remember their eyes don't look in the same direction now let's look at his feet look at these little webbed toes now chameleons have scales on their body so all of these little pieces right here are all scales and here is the chameleon's long tail. So here we see what a chameleon looks like up close. I'm ready to start drawing. All right, so today you might want to use a black marker. If you decide you wanna use a brown or if you even wanna use another color, that is perfectly fine with me. I'm gonna use black. Now I want you to take your paper and I want you to put it in front of you and I want you to make sure that your paper is standing tall like a door or it is vertical in front of you. You should have your marker and you should have your paper. All right, we're gonna be making a very large chameleon today. What that means is we're gonna to need to try to fill our paper. My chameleon is gonna be probably this wide and maybe this tall, so that means I don't want to see you making it super tiny. We want to make it super big today. Our big word today is big. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to start first with his eye. And his eye is going to be on this side of our paper. Now his eye is going to be a large circle. So we're going to look at the top and over onto the right side of our paper about right here, we're going to put a dot. So let's put a dot on our paper. And then we're going to make a really large circle. That is the outside of his eye. Now the next part, we're going to make that little circle or that little hole, as I said, in the middle where he actually can see from. And if you want to put like a little dot inside you can do that. So there's his eye. Now let's start to make his head. All right we're going to start about right here. So right here on our paper not quite in the middle. We're going to start and we're going to make a big old curve that 
that goes right over his eye. And that curve will continue and it will go around just like this, all the way to the bottom, just like that. All right, so I'll start again. Start about right here, curve, straight, curve, curve, and curve. Notice how his head is really big, and that is what we want. And then we could also put a line right here if we want, and that would be his mouth. Good job. Your drawings are looking great, boys and girls. All right, now we want to move on to making his body. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start about right here. So we're going to leave a little space from the top of his ear and we'll put a dot right here. Let's put a dot. Awesome. Now, I want you to come over to the edge of your paper and about in the middle of the paper, I want you to put another dot. Good job. Now we're gonna make a really large curved line. And so here we go, we're gonna make a large curved line and stop. Notice how my chameleon's filling up my paper. Yours should fill up your paper also. All right, now we're gonna keep going and we're gonna make our curve. And now our curve is gonna kinda of go toward the inside of our paper. Like this, and stop. Big O long curve, kinda of like we're making the letter C. Awesome. All right, we're kinda of going over something that you have learned before with Miss Jennifer, and that is a spiral. Well, hmm, what is a spiral? Well, this is, a spiral just like this. Now, to make a spiral, you're gonna pretend that you're making a circle, but you're not gonna close that circle. Instead, you're gonna keep going around and around and you're gonna get smaller and smaller. All right, I'll do it again. Go around, smaller and smaller. Now, there's another way to do that and that is you could start from the inside and you can get bigger and bigger going around. All right, so now that takes us to, we're gonna make a big curve and around, just like this. All right, so now you should be making your spiral. Good job, your spirals look great. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I want to connect that spiral back around. So here I go. I am going to make that spiral go around just like that. All right, that's a little tricky, so let me show you. All right, so here's our big spiral. And what I did was I made a curve just like this. And then I kept going. And what I'm doing is I'm just following this line, but instead of Drawing on the line, I'm leaving a space. So look, I'm following that line and I'm gonna follow it back around just like this. And there you go. Notice this, here's my original spiral and watch what I'm gonna do. Miss Jennifer's going to put color so that you can see where my original spiral was. All right, so there's my original spiral. And what I did is I just simply made another spiral that sort of followed the spiral I already had, just like that. All right, so now let's add that to your chameleon. Awesome. And I'm gonna keep on going to about right here, and I'm gonna stop. Now that's a little tricky. If you have trouble doing that, then you could probably simply just make his tail like this and that would also be okay. All right, we're gonna make his leg next. And his leg is gonna go about right here. So there we go. We're gonna make a curve. And we're gonna make a curve on the bottom and back around to the top. Making sure the top is bigger than the bottom. 
And now I'm gonna add some little curved lines for his little toes. Awesome. All right. And now about right here, I wanna make another leg. So I'm gonna make a curve. And this time I'm gonna go in this direction, making a curve and a curve. Starting at the top, go down around and back up to make his leg. And again, I'm gonna add some more curve lines for his toes. All right, now I'm gonna connect those together, just like this, to the bottom of his body. Good job, boys and girls. You just made your own chameleon and they are looking amazing. I know that tail was a little hard, but you guys are amazing on it. I am so excited. All right, now our chameleon will be standing on something and that will be a branch. And so here, I'm going to make two straight lines. Now notice I didn't make, so let's, here's his little foot. I didn't make my lines through his foot. Instead, I put a line on one side, I skipped the foot, put a line on the other side, and it touched his other foot. Now, I wanna do another one, but this time I wanna make a curve going down, back, up just like this. Awesome. Now let's not connect it together because we need to make the branch part that goes under his front foot. And there we go. We have the rest of our branch. Awesome boys and girls. Now if you want to make your branch so that your branch goes off the side of the paper, that's okay. You can do that. All right. Now we're going to be making some leaves. We're going to make a giant curve on one side and a giant curve on the other side. And we've been making our leaves so that we put our veins like this in the middle. But today we're going to do it a little different. Instead, we're going to use one curve line from one hand to the other. And we're going to leave a space and we're going to make another curve line on the side. Then we will add the veins to our leaves. Right, so right here, I wanna make a big leaf. One curved line on one side, curved line on the other side. Now remember, I wanna make two curved lines, leaving a space in between, and here are my veins. Now you can make as many leaves as you would like on your picture, it's really up to you. And maybe I can make one right here. All right, notice how I'm leaving that big part in the middle. And I can make another one right here. Curve line, curve line, leaving a space. And maybe I'll make one giant one right here. Curve line, curve line. And now I need my dashes for my veins and my leaf. Very good. Awesome job. All right, so now I wanna get a little fancy and I'm gonna put some curved lines right next to each other, all the way down my chameleon's tail. So let's do that now. Let's just put two curved lines next to each other, all the way down his tail, all the way to the end. And I started about right here. And you can make as many of these as you want. Awesome. All right. Now on this body, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use this letter. What letter is this, boys and girls? A letter V. Awesome. But I'm going to actually turn my letter V upside down today. And I want to make one letter V here, one here, and one here here just like that and if you want you could actually maybe make two curved lines right here on his face and there we go now we are finished drawing our chameleon and we are getting ready to start coloring some different colors i'm ready to start coloring and so i'm going to start first with my markers and i'm going to trace the outside of a couple of things um, some of them I will be coloring in with markers. 
The others I will be coloring in with crayons. And so I will be tracing some things, as I said, with my marker, where other ones I might color them in with the marker. And I'm gonna leave that up to you. Do you want to color all of it in? Do you wanna trace it and use your crayons? It's really up to you. I'm gonna start with the green first and I'm going to start on my leaves. And so I'm going to trace around everything on my leaves, just like this. Now I think that I actually want to color in that middle vein on my leaf. And I'm gonna do that to all of my leaves. Hmm, I just realized something. For this one, I did not put the veins, and so I need to add veins to my leaf. And sometimes we forget things, and we can go back and add them. And looking at my picture, maybe I might even want to add another leaf right here. We can always do that on our pictures. All right, so there we go. So I have an extra leaf now. I'm going to keep tracing them. So let's go ahead and let's work on our leaves. So tracing the outsides, tracing the inside veins, and I'm coloring in the middle, just like this. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. So I'm gonna color in the middle, trace the outside, and go. Now I have quite a number of leaves so it's going to take me a little while to finish tracing them but that's okay. Right. And so there we go. I have one more right here and I'm going to also have to color the inside and trace my veins. Right, there I go. If you have any white spots of your paper still showing through, once you finish coloring it, you can always go back and color some more. All right, so that part is marker. The next part of my leaf I want to do with crayons. And I think that I actually want to have a light green color, um, sort of a greenish yellow. And look at this, I'm gonna do that on one side of each leaf. Now, you could do this if you want, and then we'll put another color on the other side. It's really up to you. Maybe you even wanna switch up the side. So you notice how I put it on this side, which is the left side? Now, I might wanna color in the right side. And there it goes. So let's think. Hmm, this, I bet you right here, will be my right side. I just kind of picked it to be my right side. because so I'm thinking if I turned it a little bit, this would be left and this would be right. All right, so there we go. And now I have another color green and I'm gonna color the other color on the other side. Now, do all of my leaves have to be the same colors? Absolutely not. Lead me to another different color green. And so there we go. And maybe I wanna color these two with the green that I have. And maybe I want my other two that are left over to have maybe even a different color green. And so here I go. I'm going to color it a different color green. Again, making sure to go back and color in any of those white spaces that you might have on your paper. Now Miss Jennifer's gonna color hers quickly because I don't want to run out of time, but you will have more time to work on yours at another time. All right, now that brings me to what color will I make these sort of triangles on my chameleon? I think I want yellow. Now, you do not have to follow the colors that Miss Jennifer is using because if you look at all of these different chameleons, they are all different colors, which means that you can put any colors that you want. So let's be creative. Maybe that one's yellow. Maybe this one's yellow. And then maybe the other one, maybe I want to make it orange. Or maybe you want it blue or purple or green. Whatever you want. Maybe you want them all different colors. That is also okay. All right. So now I'm going to go down 
to the tail part. And I'm gonna use this purplish pink kind of color because I really like this color a lot. And I'm gonna color in each one of these little curved line pieces. If you want yours to be different colors, again, you could do that. It's really up to you. All right, so I'm gonna color all of mine the same color, but they don't have to be. All right, and there I go. Ooh, your pictures are looking amazing, guys. Why don't you take some time, and I want you to look over at your neighbor's paper, and I want you to see the colors that they are using to color their chameleon. Let's do that now. Awesome. Now, I want you to turn to your friend on the other side, and I want you to look at their picture. Do that now. Great. You can see how your two friends that are next to you are probably coloring it very different from the way that you are coloring it. And I'm sure that the kids in your class are all coloring different colors also. Maybe y'all can look at each other's pieces of art a little later today. All right, let's go back to our picture. All right, so there we go. Now, I think that I want to color, I'm gonna color some of my chameleon's tail on the inside, this really pretty blue. Now, all I'm simply doing is just coloring it in and kind of just not really paying attention to how I color the top. Some parts are longer, some are shorter, just like this. And my idea here is that I wanna use two different colors on my tail. All right, and there I go. All right, so there I have one color. And as I said, I want to do another color. So maybe for my other color, maybe I will pick, you know what, let me pick a darker blue. And so here I go. I'm just gonna color in. Well, you can't really tell that one that much. So you know what, let me go to this color. Maybe this color will be darker. And there we go, this is a darker color. So maybe you could use different colored blues. Maybe you could do red or orange instead. And I'm gonna do that all the way through my chameleon's tail. And of course, you're gonna spend more time coloring your chameleon than the shinnifer is. But I wanna show you what I'm going to do on my chameleon today. All right, so there we go, two different color blues. Next, I'm going to get red. And I think that I want to make Oh, actually this one is a, this is a violet red, which is still pretty. It's kind of a pinkish red and that's okay. I'm gonna make part of his little legs this color, like this. And then I'm gonna get another color. Maybe this would be a good place to put some yellow. And I'm going to color the rest of this part with a yellow, just like this. All right, so now I have yellow, on his legs, and I want to now move on to the rest of his body. Well, maybe for the rest of his body, I think I actually might want his body to be green. And so I'm going to color in some green. If you wanna get really fancy, you could add some more of these different colors like I did. So maybe some of it will be green, maybe the top, and maybe the bottom of his body might be a different color. Maybe that different color might be purple. So I could add some purple to the bottom of his body. Remember, chameleons are very colorful. If you look here, it starts with green and then it kind of goes to blue, has some white, some orange yellow on the top. He's got pink around his little ear. So you could definitely do that. All right. Now I'm at his head and I want to color his head dark green. And again, remember you're gonna take a lot more time to color than Miss Jennifer is, but I'm gonna color all of his head green, just like this. And you know what? I might want to add, maybe I could add some purple mixed in on his head, just like this. This little part right here, Maybe I could make that blue, just like that. 
Awesome. I could even go back and if I want, I could add some darker green on some parts of his head, just like this. All right, I would say just have fun with your colors. All right, and so now I'm going to color my branch. And I'm just gonna color my branch, sort of a light brown. And that brings me to one more thing. And that one more thing is his big old eye. I'm gonna color his eye two different colors. Now remember, he sees out of this little bitty hole, but this whole big eye moves around. Amazingly, a chameleon can see almost all the way around because he can move them up, down, side to side. And so I'm gonna color parts of it with purple. I'm gonna be real creative here. Purple and maybe yellow because chameleons can have different color eyes. All right, the next thing that you would do is color the background any color that you would want. We are finished coloring for today. Today, we learned about chameleons. We learned fun facts about chameleons. We drew a picture of a colorful chameleon on a branch with some leaves, and we learned what they eat and so much more. If you have any extra time, I would like for you to take some time to add some colors to your chameleon. You could even add some colors to the sky. Remember, I want you to take some time to share your picture with your family and friends. Maybe you can tell them what your picture is about. Maybe you could even name your chameleon. So until next time, I want you to keep making art.